Hi everybody, it's nearly the end of 2021 and what a year it has been. Another year of the COVID pandemic and we are still not through with it. So for many people that meant that we didn't really have the 2021 that we were hoping for. So what's possible for us in 2022? Well, every year at New Year's Eve, I go through the same annual ritual which is that I reflect back on the last year, what achievements, what great things did happen and what maybe didn't work out the way I wanted. And then I plan my next year ahead by thinking what would fulfillment in 2022 look like so that uh, next year at New Year's Eve, I look back at the year and think, wow, this has been a great year. I use two tools for this process and you can use the same. The first one is my ultimate annual planner, which I update and make available for free every year. And you can also download it with a link from this post. And what this is, it's a workbook that takes you step by step through a process that helps you explore what was great in 2021, what was maybe not so great, and what do you want from 2022. It invites you to define what success and fulfillment means in each of the key areas of your life and then create an action plan for the next year. And the reason why I think this is useful is a fantastic fulfilling year doesn't really just happen to us. Or let's say it could happen, but if we start with a vision by defining exactly what success means for us, we are much more likely to actually create it because we can take charge of this. There are things that we can do now and over the coming months to ensure that it becomes a great year for us. And the second tool I use is what you see here at the back. And this is my annual war planner where I can track my life goals on a chart where I see them every day and I can update them. And again, it allows me to um, define success um, goals long term and short term for the key areas of my life. There's a section for tracking daily routines, for recording achievements, for my life um, vision and also for some images to anchor it visually. If this is something that interests you, you can get this a laminated wall chart too. There's a cost though, message me if you are interested in this. Well, one of the great things about the end of the year is if you had a really bad year, what you can do is you can simply wipe it all out, get all rid of it. I'm not completing this for the whole wall chart, but I'm going to do this later. And you can start again from a clean canvas and you can do the same. Take a step back and explore what you really want from 2022. Look at it as a new canvas that you can start from and fill with your dreams and your visions. Of course, there are so many things that we still won't be able to do next year because of the pandemic and possibly other circumstances wherever you live right now. But my philosophy is um, not to dwell too much on one, what we can't do, what is not possible and more about what is possible for me. We can't control our circumstances, but we can control how we adapt, what we make out of it and go for the best options given the circumstances and the resources that are available for us. So I hope you too will create a successful and fulfilling 2022, whatever that means for you. And I look forward to seeing you in the new year. Bye.